post-processing and quantitative analysis of imaging data can be just as time-consuming as study planning and data acquisition. Efficient analysis is therefore very desirable, but it should be accurate and reproducible. PMOD's rodent brain analysis tool, PNROD, combines brain atlases for rat and mouse with a tested workflow for both single and multimodality data. A convenient workflow guides the user so that brain regions adjusted to the subject anatomy are reproducible and can be used for statistical analyses. The workflow adapts automatically to either single or multimodality image input, and depending on the image content, data from a whole cohort can be batch processed. In multimodality studies, the target image is typically a functional PET or SPECT, and an MR or CT serves as the anatomical reference and is used for spatial normalization. Once the transformations have been determined, each image, or the Atlas VOIs, can be transformed into the space of any other image. This is an advantage, since the regional statistics can be calculated from the original functional image without reslicing and interpolation. In this exercise, we will use PNROD to create Atlas regions in PET image space for a static FDG hybrid PET CT in a rat from the Bruker PCI database. Like the PNeuro tool for human brain data, PNROD has its own configuration. It includes an option for automatic reorientation to PMOD's standard for the brain atlases. And for rodent data, we rely on the DICOM quadruped orientation labels. Select RAT4, FDG brain, and add both PET and CT to the selection for loading. As for fusion and PSEG, using the built-in DICOM database means the modality labels are available to recognize the input and anatomical reference. After loading, we're taken to the input page of the Brain Atlas Adjustment Workflow. The Brain Atlas Adjustment Workflow is organized by page, starting with selection of the appropriate atlas. In the top left, we select the Brain Atlas that we want for analysis, which is previewed just below that selection menu. For this exercise, we will use the PXRAT Schiffer Atlas. In the lower right, we see the workflow tools. If dynamic PET was loaded, the average slider here would be active. As is common for rodent data, the field of view is much larger than we need for brain analysis, so cropping is important. The workflow provides specific tools for this, or you can prepare the data in advance, which is an important step for batch processing. For manual cropping, place the cursor in the brain and check the crop checkbox. If the size needs adjustment, you can use the arrow buttons or the manual entry function. We can select the CT anatomical reference option. Then we can proceed using the CT workflow button in the lower right and we're asked to confirm the cropping operation. For this hybrid PET CT, we have a similarly large field of view for the CT, so we can apply cropping in the same way. The additional workflow tools allow us to choose between hybrid PET CT and PET and CT that would still require rigid matching. Since we have hybrid data, we just have to resample the PET to fuse with the CT.
On the matched input page, we can inspect the fuse data and select the method and template for spatial normalization. Template-based normalization is generally the goal, using elastic operations to account for anatomical differences, but affine and rigid matching are available in case it's not supported by the data, and manual rigid matching is available as a backup solution for difficult data. Any of the templates available for the selected atlas can be selected, ideally matching the anatomical modality available or the tracer distribution in the input image. In this case, we select the CT. And the template can be previewed in the top left, switching from brain atlas regions to show the normalization templates. And then we see the preview as before. Normalization is started using the workflow button in this case using the default settings. On the normalized page, we can assess the result and using a contour for the template is often effective as you see here. The default is to see 50-50 alpha blend between the two images, the template and the normalized CT and the contours can be toggled on and off using the icon below the fusion slider. Selecting A shows contours for only the template. Then the fusion slider can be moved to show only the normalized CT, allowing us to explore the image and compare the contour in blue to our normalized CT image seen in grayscale. The next step is then to apply the atlas to the images, creating our segments. The result space is chosen using the radio buttons in the workflow area. In most cases, we recommend performing the analysis in the subject input space, but you can also use Atlas, see the effect on the image resolution, and for subject we have the choice of the CT image space and the input pet data image space, as we've already seen. The Atlas segments are then outlined into VOIs. The view eyes are presented in the familiar tree structure and displayed on the fused images in the chosen image space. For dynamic PET with suitable tracers, parametric mapping can be added to the workflow if you also have our PXMOD tool. Partial volume correction methods are also available for use on your PET data. and statistics can then be calculated. The format of the statistics depends on whether you're working on static or dynamic data. Dynamic data will generate time activity curves that can be sent directly to kinetic modeling in our PKIN tool if it was also licensed. In this case, we have static PET statistics that can be saved or exported as usual. For reproducible analysis and for batch processing, we can go back to the main workflow and save the analysis protocol. This protocol can be cloned in the batch processing interface, which is demonstrated in another video.